more or less, yes. Do you think that medias and politics made this one a pandemic of cases instead of a pandemic of death? I think it's unfortunate that uh, we focus too much on cases, uh, which was actually a false number because the number of cases was much bigger. So <laughs> if, if we wanted to give number of cases, uh, number of infections would have been probably uh, uh, globally more than 10 times more, of course, with large variability in the ratio of detected versus non-detected across different countries. Um, cases alone don't mean much. Uh, th there's a huge difference between someone who does not even re recognize that uh, he or she is infected and uh, just finds out that the test is positive and someone who uh, dies from uh, that infection. So it, it would make more sense if we had focused on the number of deaths and the, the utilization of our health services. And in that regard, even these numbers are still not very reliable because we know that, for example, uh, tagging a death as related to COVID-19 is not a straightforward uh, situation. Most of these deaths happen in people who have many comorbidities uh, it's never easy to say that 10% of the death <laughs> was due to this and 22% of the death was due to, to that comorbidity or to COVID-19. So these are all tentative numbers. We need a more careful description of the burden of disease to understand what exactly are we facing and how does the pandemic or epidemic eventually evolves in different locations. Because otherwise, if we just count cases, uh, this will never end. <laughs> we, we will always have lots of cases. Uh, we, we always have lots of cases of, of respiratory viruses anyhow. Don't you think that in Europe we have counted more cases than deaths? In Europe I think it's a, a bit more because uh, more testing was done, especially in the later phases. Uh, we, we did very little testing actually in the beginning, but after a certain point lots of testing was being done which I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Actually, I was one of those who argued from the very early stages that we needed very aggressive epidemiological surveillance to know what exactly is the magnitude of the epidemic wave. But, but it is different to record the numbers for the benefit of epidemiologists to look about the science and about uh, where is the epidemic and how it is spreading versus communicating information to the population and just making everyone crazy and fearful and uh, beating the drum uh, continuously about case numbers, wh which is something that can be horrifying, of course, to the average citizen.